Hey, what is up team? How's it going? Yeah, I am going and I am doing pretty well and I hope y'all are pretty, all are pretty, blah, blah, blah. man, some of these, sometimes these intros are not very smooth. Um, these are all off the top of the dome. None of this is like scripted. Um, I mean, I might take like 10 seconds to kind of think about how I'm going to start it, but nah, there's no script. I mean, the only thing that I'm trying to accomplish is basically talk about these bills and talk about, yeah, t- and Talk to y'all. See, this is one of those moments where I probably should have something scripted. Um, I actually have a friend who's kind of like a YouTube advisor of mine, and he told me that I should uh, do a script. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I I, I get it, you know, um, you know, being prepared and all of that stuff. But I kind of like this kind of organic, raw nature, unscripted. I don't know. It's like when you go talk to a friend, you don't you don't like script your conversation. You just go and talk, right? And that's what I kind of like doing when I'm um, sharing this space with y'all. So I'm going to just keep doing that. I'm going to just keep doing that despite what he told me. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really salivating this morning. I don't know what's, what's up with this. Is it a coffee or something? But anyway, in front of us, we're taking a look at a trifecta, a duet consisting of tricranius, uh, not tricranius, what am I saying? Um, but, 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 but Master Dominus and uh, Spindle. And um, you cannot make this build using a Ractonite and a Paleotrex. You might be able to make a version of it, but not exactly the way this looks because he's utilizing the combined head. He's utilizing uh, Master, Master Dominus's, um, you know, uh, spears, his tusks, and a couple of other things. So, yeah, I would say pretty much this is just going to be a MD and spin exclusive. Um the arms, while being like asymmetrical, I feel like they kind of embody the same spirit in that they're like shoveling upward. Oh, that just fell off. That's great. I should have strengthened this with some uh, pieces of paper because there's a little bit of weight on it. Oh, look at that. It's all falling apart. Yeah, definitely should have strengthened it with some piece of paper. Should I go offline and do it or should I just do this video without it? Well, I talked about being organic, right? And so uh, I'm just going to do it for better or for worse. I think the hands, um, both of the claws, the hands, they embody the same spirit. They got this kind of like, like facing upward and they're about to dig at you and stuff. Um, and so, yeah, despite being asymmetrical and despite being different, mm, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Yeah. The Master Dominus um, combined head is really neat. I mean, the only one that we had previously was the wing finger and rectonite combo, which I really, really like. But now having a secondary combined head um, is pretty cool. There's kind of a combined head mode you can do with Paleotrex, but it still utilizes the prime Paleotrex head. So it's a little bit small, but here the proportions are kind of worked out where the heads kind of seem leader class or at least Voyager. And so, um, yeah, check out the back. He has a little bit of a tail thing going on over here. He has this cool little spike thing going on, which I actually figured out. Um, so I was complaining that um, Spindle doesn't have a place to tab the tail, whereas Paleotrex does. I was wrong. It actually taps into the mouth right there. Maybe it's on the instructions. I don't know. I didn't bother reading it. And so um, <laughs> maybe I should have. But I didn't bother reading it. But I did find out that it taps in there. Yeah. So um, we're going to go over how to make them today. So let's take out the easy bits first because they're falling all over the place. Well, that one was. So this is how you create one of the arms. So you're going to use the little small bit the little small appendage joint from Master Dominus, and you're gonna plug that in to the um, the bulbous kind of like, um, what is it, the tail covering for um, MD. You plug that into the calf of spin, and here is the frilly part of the tail sandwiched by two claws, so that it kind of com- becomes this like giant claw, so to speak. And you get that, and you're just gonna plug that back here. And so, yeah, 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 yeah. And so this is how I have it. Like this bulb, which normally would be like this on a lot of the Ractonite builds, I'm spinning to the back. And um, what I'm actually trying to do is create a mirror joint, an identical joint resembling um, the hip part of uh, the hip part of MD. This part, the thing that's blurry right now. Yeah, I'm trying to basically create this joint right here. And you can see it's not perfect, but um, it, it, it's kind of similar. It's kind of similar. And here it's the same deal. You have the, the little tiny, tiny joint, the appendage for MD. Then we have that connected down into his hip connector. 
connect into the CAFA spin, and then you have the tusk, the tusk holder for MD. All right, we're gonna move this to the side. All right, let's look at the body. Um, the bottom half is just spins lower body that I have improved the tolerances on. So look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Yeah, and like, look at that. Look at that. Oh uh, yeah, there's gonna be the fix it video that I release that basically addresses how to tighten those things. And so it's just spins lower half and then MD's big legs on the bottom. This top piece is kind of cool because he has this kind of belt. Um, the unique thing about MD smaller legs, he has two pegs. He has two pegs, one that's movable on a joint here and another, another one that's static. And so what I've done is, maybe you can see it better down here. Because um, if I don't have to, I don't want to remove it. So MD has two ports right there, just like rack. And then what you're doing is with the static peg, you're plugging that in. This is the non-static peg, the one that moves around. This is the one that's um, just stuck like that, static. You plug that in, you plug that in, and then you wrap the around, arms around the top, the little connectors, and you plug that into the spin axe. You bring the spindle axe up, and you plug that into the spindle neck bit right here. And that's just a spindle dyno torso. You plug in that tail inside the jaw. You can see that there's actually a slot right there. So you plug that bad boy in right there. And then you plug this head, the back vertebrae part into that hole right there. And then the other connector, that one is gonna plug right here. So you just kind of, everything kind of when, when you get it in place, but it's not choking right now. There you go. The sound that I make is like when the, the fit is so tight that air is being pushed out. Like, um, anyway, so that's it. So we can pop the legs back on. Cool. And then the arm over here, that little hole right there, you're plugging in to the back of MD. Same thing over here. His arm is a little bit heavy, but it's all good. And then you have his tail that you can plug in like so. Yeah, my buddy Farblechar, um, one of my Insta buddies, he also did a, um, a uh, Master D and Spindle combination that I might show soon. It's similar to this, um, but there are some differences, but I liked his a lot too. Yeah, but I wanted to do something a little bit different and hence. Oh, come on, man. Why are you doing this now? Why are you suddenly doing the splits, dude? We was good a second ago. We was good a second ago. Um, there we go. There we go. So yeah, he got the claws all up. Yo, my guy, my guy. I don't know why he's trying to do the Van Damme all of a sudden. He was chill a second. Y'all know who Van Damme is? Maybe not. Um, Jean-Claude Van Damme. The muscles from Brussels. I think he's going to do splits. No, he just fell down. Anyway, you saw how that was. He was standing up good a second ago. Um, so yeah, that is Master D and Spin and I am BBO, Botbender Orange. I'll talk to you all very soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.